It's finally here, the new God of War New Game Plus update is live and adds a ton of stuff to the game, so let's run it all down in this video. Of course, spoilers for the end game of God of War. I mean, if you want to play the New Game Plus, you got to finish the game first. But yeah, let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go! The first thing you will notice when you download the 1.30 update that is less than 1 gig is that there is a New Game Plus option on the bottom of the main menu. Selecting that will take you to the save menu, but you need to have a manual save that you can transfer to this New Game Plus mode. Be careful of course that when you save your New Game Plus save that you don't put it over your previous non-New Game Plus save where you finish the game. This way you will not be able to go back to that save so to a safe game where you have done everything. You can also find this new game plus option while in the game by going to the options menu and under the photo mode you find this new feature that lets you replay the game with all your armor sets, talismans, enchantments, runic attacks, skills, XP, hex silver and also both the weapons. So you will feel insanely powerful against a stranger and that's very nice trust me. After you select the new game plus mode you can choose a different difficulty than you were playing on before or go with the one you already did but just like with a regular play session you can switch to another difficulty at any time but not if you play the give me god of war mode the hardest difficulty in the game also new is that the game now knows what the start level of the enemies will be give me a story so the easiest mode is just level one the normal difficulty let enemies start on level five and they give me a challenge on level six and give me god of war on level seven and they move up from there. Good to note is that there is an exclusive reward for completing the New Game Plus mode on the Give Me God of War difficulty. Namely a new shield skin that you can then use when you restart the game again for a second New Game Plus playthrough. Since you can do the New Game Plus over and over again. If you by the way completed the game on the Give Me God of War mode and got the new shield skin, totally reach out to me. I would love to showcase it in an upcoming video and of course give you the credits. You can reach out to me on Twitter at YourRaptor, on Instagram YourRaptor or in the comments of my videos. There's also a completely new shield added that you get upon starting the New Game Plus mode called Aegis of Reconciliation. That looks pretty cool. Again, everyone gets this when you start a New Game Plus mode and you will be able to see it like five minutes into the game, but I don't think you will be able to take it back to your non-New Game Plus save. So once you start your New Game Plus playthrough, you will find another new feature, namely the ability to skip cutscenes by holding the X button. By the way, this is also present in the regular game, but only if you finish the game at least once. Another cool new quality of life feature is the option to swap sockets from one gear piece to another without having to manually put them in. Just go to the armor piece you want to swap your enchantments in, press R3 to compare the enchantments, and then you can also swap them, it's really as easy as that. Other new convenient updates that are available for every player are the fact that parry attacks keep Kratos safe at all times. Also inconsistencies for when enemies attack are improved for parrying. The Wrath of the Rust Agent, one of my favorite runic attacks, is improved. It looks to be faster as well. And we got more new small additions like new camera shake accessibility settings. More exciting are the new gear pieces though, like this tunic that we see in the new perfect rarity and it has an awesome blue look it creates an explosion when you pick up a health or spartan rage stone so it's nice to keep the enemies away in order to unlock it you need hack silver so yes i told you in my how to prepare for the god of war new game plus video that it was smart to get a lot of hack silver before this update so this turns out to be true but you can of course also get hack silver by just playing through the new game plus mode more important is the new scap slack resource that you get in the red chest that's at least the only place i found them right now maybe they will drop later Later on in the game from other things as well. So while the chest that would normally give you a health boost now only rewards you with hack silver as far as I saw, the red chest you find by going off the beaten path are totally worth chasing for this new resource that you will need a lot of to get the new armor pieces in the game. Atreus by the way also got a new perfect tunic that has the perks from all the previous armor sets combined and also massively increases the melee damage and recovery speed of your arrows. But yeah I'm sure there are way more gear sets to collect. We already saw a cool red one in new screenshots Sony released. If you by the way unlock them in the shop please reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram or in the comments. I will of course unlock them as well but because I'm at Gamescom right now it will 
will go a little slower than usual. So if you reach a certain point, see a new armor, totally reach out. That would be very appreciated. Also interesting are the new perfect enchantments that you can buy with upgraded talismans at the shop and some hack silver as well. So that means that you will get the perk from the talisman as an enchantment so you can become way more powerful than before by combining all the different powers together. And yes, this will add a ton of variety to the builds that you can create. It is noted that only certain talismans but also certain armor sets can be turned into enchantments. Again, totally reach out if you find some new ones in the shop while playing through the new game plus mode. Also new are enemies with some new behaviors and attack patterns, although I'm not sure if I've encountered them yet in my hour or so that I've toyed around with the new game plus mode, probably a little bit more. So in the Monica thesis that the Valkyries will have some new attacks as well, so that is awesome indeed. You can, by the way, enter the Valkyrie doors immediately when you see them. You still need the key that you get when you are at that point in the story. It was also noticed that enemies can now turn elite on the give me a challenge new game plus mode that I'm playing on so this will add even more challenge to the game and also cool our new times realm tiers. Sony Santa Monica notes that running away won't help you against hell vikings and revenants so exciting to see what those are about. Again you'll reach them later on in the new game plus playthrough. So yes a lot has been added with this free 1.30 update. It's really really awesome. I can't wait to continue my adventure through the game again with all my gear and of course the blades as well it's really cool to use them in parts you were not able to use them before and i will have way more gold of war new game plus videos in the coming days so totally subscribe to stay up to date on everything gold of war and of course drop a like to support the channel and i will speak to you next time have fun in new game plus mode and goodbye